that that is the symbol of of an imperial warship. It's rare when the ship actually tells you its name. So this is a pretty important moment in this exploration. This represents the very first time anyone has ever laid eyes on this wreck um, since it uh, was lost 81 years ago. Um, and so, yeah, we were able to document a lot of these features that we knew, we knew nothing about. Uh, they're in particular, uh, some of the historic records from the battle itself. The battle of Midway set the pattern for other sea battles which followed in the Pacific. So we are uh, right in the middle of the Pacific. So we're basically, if you look at a map, almost dead center between uh, the coast of Japan and the United States. Uh, and we're diving over three miles deep. So this is where Admiral Nagumo and his staff would have been when they were forced to uh, evacuate uh, the fires that were raging there. When you look at the action reports and what we know about the battle, those obviously came in, in times of distress, in times of chaos in terms of the battle. Um, and so the, those those historic records are not always as clear as, as you want them. Um, and, but we had this kind of benefit of spending two full days on the seafloor documenting each one of these three wrecks in, in great detail. But boy, she took a beating. I brought tears to my eyes. I'll be truthful about it. it I just hated to see my ship torn up like that. <laughs> 